I have this group of friends and we basically like to do nice stuff, live the life. We've gone to London a couple of times and last year we went uh, around this time in early December and we liked it so much that we decided that once can make a tradition. So we did it again this year and we go to eat good food, do some shopping, sort of get in the holiday spirit. And London is a really nice place to do that. It's really pretty. Uh, we're on our way to the airport to go to London for the weekend. And it's funny how I made that packing video because I keep forgetting that what I do is um, I make a list, I pack very sort of planned out and minimal, and then I keep thinking of just one more thing to stick in, like one more cardigan or one more dress just in case. So it's like one more thing in each category and then maybe just one more thing on top of that thing just in case. And then it's just this whole mass of chaotic stuff. different this year because we had a couple of extra people join the, the core troop, so to speak. And it's harder to plan for seven people to do the same thing as opposed to just four or five. So we split up more, which is not really that big a deal, but it was a little sad because it's nice to really do stuff together and kind of do the same things or discover things and then you can talk about them together. We've landed in London, we've had a couple of drinks, um, and I had some amazing mac and cheese. Uh, we are staying at the Ace Hotel in Shoreditch, which is this wonderfully hipster hotel, sadly not spawned. And tomorrow we're gonna have amazing food, museum, shopping, more food, whole point of this trip. A repeat from last year was Bob Bob Ricard, which is this place that's sort of an English-Russian fusion, has amazing food, and it has a champagne button. So yeah, you press the button and champagne comes to the table. What more could you want in life? Except possibly champagne service in your own house. We also went to a traditional Victorian tea at Victorian Albert, which was amazing. It was educational. I learned some new stuff. It was really, really good. The cucumber sandwich made some of the people in attendance cry. I didn't have time to walk around the museum much, which is sad because they always have amazing exhibitions and I hope to make it back before a couple of them close. Uh, what was really funny is they had a plywood exhibition that had closed just before we got there and uh, Pete was really sad not to be able to go. My favorite new experience, which for some reason I haven't done in the dozen or so times I've been to London, was the actual London Museum. I don't know how many other museums I've been to in London, but this was the first time there, and I can highly recommend it. They have really, really nice exhibitions, a lot of cool stuff, you know, 2,000 year old coins. Uh, it's an old city, so sort of the literal and figurative layers of the city are really, really interesting to explore. One of the days, P and I met up with my mom at Portobello Road Market and there were an insane amount of people there. We walked there on our way to lunch and then a little bit back and it was a little too much for me but it was really really fun. Uh, I'd like to go someday when I'm not either hungry or stressed. I bought a tiny little 50s advertisement pocket knife partially because it was so cute and partially because I find myself needing a knife to open annoying little packages a lot of the time, so goodbye. 
And overall, London in December is really crowded, which I knew, but apparently I keep forgetting. But those four or five days basically were what I wanted. I got what I wanted out of the trip, you know, good food, uh, did a little bit of shopping, I got some cardigans out of it, a little bit of makeup and skincare, and just a little bit of time to wind down. We were not as good at doing nothing this time as we usually are on vacation, so having this weekend totally off into myself was nice. It's that thing of you need a vacation to to relax from your vacation. And now we have a good supply of shortbread and a Christmas pudding for Christmas. So, Merry December. <laughs> <laughs>